all are well. We have had a nice start to the day so far. I went on a walk with Palmer, which was lovely. It, it, it's still so incredibly toasty though. I have no business <laughs> wearing this sweater, but I wanted to have its moment and I'm just wearing it inside today. We are going out later this evening, so I probably will change, but she's having her moment and we're making the best of it. I will say it has been getting a little crisp is too generous of a word, but we have had nice breezes in the morning and at dusk, which gives us a taste of that fall weather that's hopefully on its way, but excited to get some work done today. And then soon I want to head up to our bedroom actually. And I have this clothing rack in the corner of our room, which I love to style seasonal pieces and sort of get outfits ready. So they're just top of mind and ready to go. So I want to do some fall outfit styling with you. And then I also have a jewelry haul with some of my favorite pieces and I'll give you all of the details of those and then I want to make a yummy dinner tonight and then we have plans with friends later so it's looking like a very nice and well-rounded day excited to see what's to come but let's just get some computer work out of the way first and foremost I made an iced coffee with my leftover morning coffee and some almond milk and I even have my little ghost straw, so cute. Maybe you've noticed this locket I've been wearing for the past couple of months. I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful and precious. I actually did put a picture in the middle of the locket, which I haven't had a locket for years, but oh, I love them. I think it's so special to just have a little hidden piece of your heart it's so symbolic for many reasons but i put a picture of brandon and i in new york last october in central park it wasn't the best picture choice for a locket because it's a wide shot of us so it's microscopic you really can't make out what it even is but it's still really cute and i know what it is i'll probably switch it out soon for something more clear something more close up a selfie perhaps or a portrait of brandon I don't know, but I really love it. It's really sweet to me. And that brings me to Monica Vinader. I'm so thankful and excited to be partnering with them for this video. They are truly one of my favorite jewelry brands. I wear their pieces every single day. This guiding star necklace, you've probably seen it hundreds of times at this point because I've been wearing their pieces for over a year and I've maybe taken this necklace off a handful of times. It is just my tried and true daily effortless jewelry piece i love it so much and i love all of their pieces and i'm so excited to continue adding to the collection so let me show you a few of my favorites i have this havana ring which i also really really love it's nice and bold i like wearing it on my middle finger or my pointer finger and then these dome rings i've actually had for over a year as well and still wear them all the time so we have that one and then I have the smaller, thinner band. Again, so, so beautiful, but I love Monica Vinader for so many reasons. They're a sustainable jewelry brand, so they're really intentional and all of their pieces are made with 100% recycled 18 karat gold and sterling silver and they feature ethically sourced pearls and gemstones and diamonds. I actually have my first gemstone ring from them. It's so beautiful. I love the vibrant pink color so gorgeous and another fun one to style all year round really and i'm also currently wearing their nura wrap earrings these are really really fun they sort of 
the end of them sort of wraps behind the back of your earlobe. It's just a unique design that I really appreciate and again, love to style. I also love wearing their ear cuff. I've been wearing this for over a year and it's just a fun little addition. Doesn't even take a piercing. So if you don't have your ears pierced but still want some ear jewels, you have that option. And then these hoops, I also are just a staple in my jewelry collection. They're so beautiful and they're lightweight, even though they're such amazing quality and super durable and have lasted me so long in so many wears, they're still lightweight and I can effortlessly wear them all day without my earlobes feeling heavy and weighed down. I also really appreciate how Monica Venator's packaging is made from recycled materials and is recyclable itself. And Monica Venator has a repair and rewear program to prolong the life of pieces. So you wear more and buy less. So again, I really truly am such a fan. I'm also wearing an anklet from Monica Venator. I truly am stacked from head to toe, but if you would like to check out any of their pieces, add to your collection, perhaps purchase a gift for someone you love, you can actually get 20% off with my code AllisonB20. So definitely check it out. Again, super thankful and excited to be partnering with them and share all the details of these stunning pieces. So I'm actually going to organize my little jewelry organizer and sort of put my more <laughs> fall toned jewelry all of these pieces are great for any time of year but i do have some very summery pieces so i'm going to tuck those away in the back a little bit and put more of my classic pieces i don't have any autumn specific pieces but any of my classic pieces in the forefront of the jewelry organizer and then we're going to get styling some fall outfits Okay, here we have it. Here's my pile of clothes I need to find a spot for now that I kicked them off of the rack, but we have some room in the closet because I pulled some pieces from there and we'll, we'll hang them up another time, but let me show you what we switched out. So first and foremost, I love this jacket. It's this gorgeous patchwork jacket from Cezanne. It is just absolutely beautiful quality cute little buttons at the end this is one of those pieces that i hope to have for my whole lifetime and pass down to hopefully my daughter one day i feel like this is something that's so trendy right now and so just on the cusp and so of the moment but i feel like it also will come back again for generations and generations maybe it is timeless i think it could be timeless it's so cute another great thing about it too is it's more lightweight so i'll be able to wear this much more frequently 
with the Florida weather. And then the next piece, it's kind of <laughs> nice and snug in here. This piece is a free people dress that I've had for years. It's a gorgeous maxi in this sort of mauve, brownish, pinkish blush color. Really comfortable for wearing at home or out and about. And again, it is long sleeve, so it is a bit more coverage and warmer, but it's a thinner material. So when we get a crisp day, I'll be able to style it. And then this set is just a uh, free people staple. The knit set with the matching wide leg pants and then the sweater, super cute. And then this sweater I've had for, I don't know, probably seven years. I've had it for so, so long. I love the little patches on the shoulders, or that's not shoulders, <laughs> the patches on the elbows, really, really cute. And then this vest, I actually got it last year i believe or two years ago i didn't wear it that much last year but it's really really cute and super soft and another great since it's a tank it definitely gives that fall energy but it's a tank so i'm really thinking of my weather you know i try and then we have this sweater from free people that i've had for i think it was from last year actually so this is a really great cardigan i love the little gray detail on the pocket it's just like a tiny little touch that's a appreciated element and then we have this flannel that I thrifted I don't even remember when but it's really really cute great for layering I love the color scheme I highly suggest checking the men's section when looking for pieces like this this was definitely a men's section find and then the sweater I was wearing today I ended up taking it off because I'm about to go do some work in the garden and cook dinner so I knew it would be a little too toasty but under it, I actually have this really cute cherry slip dress, which I found at Target last year, but really, really fun to style. And then this is another thrifted find that I absolutely love. I will say it's itchy, so <laughs> that's the downside, but it's hand-knit thrifted sweater and the colors of it. I mean, hard to beat for fall time. And then this is another great little cardigan, nice and thin material, so... It really gives you that cozy look, but it doesn't keep you quite as warm. And then we have this jumpsuit. Oh, there goes the cardigan. <laughs> we have this jumpsuit, which I love. Really, really fun. Um, just different cuts, and I like the pleats along the uh, near the hip area. Really, really adorable. And then we have this cardigan that I've had for years and years it's so chunky i honestly don't wear it that much but it's just such a fun chunky um texture i love to see it on the clothing rack because of the texture it just really adds so much and then we have this button up which i haven't worn yet it's from anthropology but another great piece to style a million different ways and this sweater is also a pretty old one but i'm sure there's similar ones it's just such cute cute silhouette and the little pom-pom details absolutely adorable i'm so excited to wear all these pieces this upcoming season I plan to give you a full updated garden tour in the morning to update you on what's been growing. We've had a lot of progress and I have some mystery. I um, planted sweet potatoes in one of our beds. I dedicated a whole bed to these sweet potatoes and they really took off, at least I think so. There's tons of vines, tons of growth over the soil, but really what you hope for is a ton of fruitful growth under the soil so i really i haven't pulled anything up to check on it so tomorrow morning i think we should check on it because it's been about 85 days now and you should be able to harvest it around 90 days so we will see i still need to look up some more videos of okay how do how can you tell when they're ready to harvest how do you even harvest something about rolling the vines up I don't know we're gonna need to do a deep dive on that tomorrow morning and then i also want to update you on our zinnias and our sunflowers i'll i'll share more tomorrow but just gave them a nice watering and now i'm gonna get started on dinner so tonight i'm making a honey garlic 
salmon, which I don't think I've ever made garlic in a, I've <laughs> made garlic, <laughs> made salmon in a video before because I'm kind of new to salmon. I used to not really love it, but I'm, I'm getting more and more into it and actually like crave it sometimes and have been having fun like trying different recipes, but I don't cook it very often. So I've never cooked salmon with you all, but I hope this goes well. It says easy honey garlic salmon. So I am hoping it's easy. And it says it only takes 20 minutes, 10 minute prep time, 10 minute cook time, which always I laugh at that. I think it's so comical because probably will take me like an hour and some change to actually make everything. I also want to make a kale salad, one of my tried and true kale salad recipes, tons of Parmesan cheese. It's so good. I think that'll pair well, right? I think it'll be delicious. So let's get cooking. And then we do have a gathering with our friends later this evening. And it's sort of like a, it's with our community group. So our church and neighbor friends, and we're doing like a summer finale fall kickoff theme and lots of people are bringing sweets I assume so I wanted to bring apples we were at Trader Joe's last night and we were trying to find like something fun to bring but they didn't really have that many pumpkin items yet so we decided to bring apples and I'm thinking it could be cute to I have cookie cutters a lot of cookie cutters I haven't really looked through them yet I sort of forget which kind I have but I hope we have like some cute fall cookie cutters and I was thinking of cutting some of the apples into like fall shapes to make it more exciting. But, oh, this is, <laughs> this is the only fall cookie cutter I have. I was hoping I had a miniature one, but we just have a big pumpkin. So I don't think that's gonna work because we would have, you know, we might try it. We might try it later. Um, depending on how much time we have too, maybe we'll just bring a bunch of apples i i wish i like got a caramel sauce or something too i don't think i have the ingredients to make caramel maybe i do i'll i'll check into that as well but let's get the salmon out of the way Lemon is so huge, it doesn't even fit in my lemon squeezer. didn't take too long the thing that took forever was the rice I need to get some like instant rice because I typically forget to make it until halfway through a recipe and it takes 40 minutes to cook but <sighs> looks delicious the cookie cutter was not in the cards but still try to make it cute with a fall plate also honey crisp apples seriously taste phenomenal we found these food covers on our fall shopping day and I've been using them so much. It's so helpful when you're taking a dish to someone else's home. Good morning. I wanna kick off the day with a garden tour because I'm out here just checking on everything and I watched a couple videos this morning but I think we should go ahead and check on the sweet potatoes and see what's going on. But here's our pepper bed. We actually have a little pepper plant that I wanna um, plant in the bed but I, I need to do some more weeding. The weeds have been growing like crazy in this bed. 
but we still have a good amount of growth and this basil that um, made its way from this ginormous basil plant it's growing so big I liked it at first because I'm like oh that'll help infuse the peppers with a wonderful basil flavor but now I feel like it's taking up way too much space and taking the nutrients from the pepper plants so might need to relocate but here's a little baby jalapeno we use the jalapenos the most so that's my most prized plant I also like the Anna Anaheim peppers that's really good and I'm excited to add the new pepper plant right here because we have plenty of space for it and then over here we have our flowers they're doing pretty good I love these cosmos they're just so gorgeous and dainty I love the look of the dew drops on them really really lovely we have our daisies cascading out of the bed too which is wonderful and we have some milkweed that's gotten so tall it's so funny we planted that from seed we also have some zinnias too that are getting close to blooming and then oh let me backtrack over here we have our ginormous basil plant and then our everglades tomatoes are growing pretty well um, they're not producing that much, but we have a few here and there, and they're very, very tasty. So I love those. And then here's our sweet potatoes. Truly incredible how much it's grown. Also, we have basil over here as well. It just spreads like crazy. I honestly didn't really notice this until just now, but ginormous basil that made its way over here. But essentially, what I think I'm going to do, hopefully there's no pests it's really hard to tell but this was our um, sweet potato that we planted originally so as you can see it's just kind of hanging out there and then the slips form from the base sweet potato so essentially my plan is to just feel around in there and see if we can pull anything up and if it looks really small then I'll just try to put it back in the ground but who knows there may have been pests I seriously have no idea this is again my first time trying to grow sweet potatoes so really not sure what to expect so we are going to just un unveil the mystery and see what we have but yeah I'm just gonna take my put my gloves on dig around see what we can pull up and if we do find anything we need to cure them for about a week in a cool dark place so that's wishful that's wishful thinking though I'm I'm just trying not to get my hopes up but we'll see the sweet potato vines are actually really beautiful too you can apparently eat these like spinach I haven't tried that yet but I was thinking maybe adding them to a smoothie or something but they're kind of pretty too over here we have a gorgeous plumeria in bloom I just love the look of these flowers they're so gorgeous and tropical and then we also have some elderberry growing which it'll take a while to probably produce actual berries but really really fun to see this grow and then over here we have our sunflowers and zinnias growing so it's so interesting in this side we don't have as much growth as we do on this side this zinnia was left over from our spring season um, I just <laughs> left this one because it was kind of shorter um, I was hoping it would bloom a yellow one or an orange one or a reddish one because I had a mix of different colors and for this time of year I'm trying to go for more an autumnal color palette with our blooms um, but I kept this one and it's cute so I'll probably trim this off and add it into our home somewhere but these sunflowers are getting absolutely ginormous so that's really exciting um, we have a little Aztec zinnia looking like it's about to bloom which is also very exciting but I, I have been wanting to research more about sunflowers too because something really neat about zinnias is once they bloom and if you trim off the flower it'll grow off or it'll grow a new one from the same stem but I believe sunflowers once you harvest them that's just one and done but I haven't really researched that yet but these are really growing nice and tall and these are trying to catch up over here this one's this one's really um, bouncing up but that is so interesting to me how that side of the home or that bed was a lot more fruitful or speedy in the growth process it really is so wild that all I did to this bed was plant one sweet potato I truly just stuck it into the soil and all of this grew from it in just a few months so so crazy 
Okay, here goes nothing. I think I'm gonna start with this one. See what's going on around here. Truly have no idea what to expect. afternoon of the next day this morning I spent some time in the garden hope you enjoyed the garden tour and our lack of sweet potatoes I'm pretty bummed about that I was really thinking we would have something because we just had so much growth but after doing a bit more research I saw one woman who's a gardener in Florida she waited 120 days before harvesting hers so I'm gonna, I already pulled out some of the vines as I was looking for them. So unfortunately I don't know what's gonna happen with them, but I am hoping that the other ones I didn't touch still have hope and I'll just give it more time, but who knows. If you have any info on growing sweet potatoes, please let me know. I'm just, I, I need to do a deep dive. I've been trying to source different info, but definitely trial and error because even though one person has certain experience, you can have totally different experience depending on your location soil so many factors but anyways still nice to spend time in the garden and i did end up planting our macho pepper plant that we found at trader joe's organic macho pepper plant i haven't tried one of the peppers yet so i pulled one off so we could give it a taste test oh <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> that is spicy and I love spicy. I, I consider myself to have a pretty high spice tolerance, but that little thing, I had a kick. Mmm. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. I love it. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we're going to use those. That is fabulous. Put that in some guacamole. Put that, oh, saute it with some other peppers and onions. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, really yummy, but definitely got a good kick. Wow, excited to have that as a new addition. Hope it does well. There were some green ones and some lighter red ones. I wonder if you could still harvest the green ones. They were about the same size as the red ones, so I need to do more research about the macho peppers as well. But I wonder if like the green ones are slightly more mild or if they're all the same and just produce different colors. I don't know, but that's a fun new addition. And then after gardening, I actually went to brunch with my friend Lexi, who's one of my closest childhood friends, we've been friends since elementary school, and it was just really sweet to see her and her baby. Really good morning. But now, I'm just gonna do computer work for the rest of the day, and then I have my final pottery class tonight. It's a little hard for me to talk right now with this pepper in my mouth, but I have my final pottery class later this evening, and we are gonna glaze all of our pieces, so really excited to see how everything comes out i'll definitely show you everything once we pick it up but that's gonna be it for today's vlog thank you all so much for watching i really hope you all are well and i'm excited to see you next